Okay guys, so we're back again today with another hair video and I've been doing a lot of hair videos lately because I'm trying to branch off into something new. So today's video is going to be based around uh, something I've been trying out as far as the growth of my hair. So. I'm sure most of you guys know aloe vera so I decided to try out aloe vera in my hair which actually I used to consume that a lot when I was a kid in a different form not for my hair but I saw a lot of videos surrounding you know aloe vera and using it in your hair and how it's supposed to help your hair grow so I decided to try it out myself so I didn't really follow any other videos I saw I kind of just uh, did my own thing really so I bought the aloe vera from my supermarket and I did it last week so the hair you're seeing now is ever since doing that treatment last week now I did not track the length of my hair last week but from my standpoint I feel like it has grown but as of this video, we're definitely gonna make sure we keep track of it. So the next time I'm checking in as far as the length, I'll know whether or not it has grown. So last time when I did the mask, well, it, yeah, I kind of called it a treatment. It's kind of like a hair mask treatment. I um, took a whole aloe vera and you know, basically you have to cut it up and you know, take the aloe vera is in the middle. Um, you know you kind of have to peel it kind of like a fruit and um, I blended that in a blender and I also added avocado and coconut oil that's the only things I put in there um, I had braids at the time so I put the treatment on with the braids with, with you know I didn't unbraid my hair because I feel like because you know my scalp was out and everything and you know how you line up the braids I felt like it would um, work a little better so I did that I left it in my hair for about an hour and then I rinsed out um, most important thing when you're doing this you have to strain um, you have to strain everything once once it's all mixed up because there are little parts of the aloe vera that will stay in your hair even after rinsing it out so I watched the video someone mentioned that but then I forgot so that was last week so we're back again and I'm gonna do this again so I decided to share with you guys um, the process so this time I did the coconut oil I did the aloe vera but no avocado so blended aloe vera added some coconut oil I use organic coconut oil um, so this is everything in the container so it kind of just looks like a little bit of a substance really hope you guys can see that so this is how much aloe vera in one you know one aloe vera itself and this is after straining it out so if you can see there's not really much particles in there last time when I did it it was a lot more stuff in there but remember I had the avocado so it wasn't as clear as you see it now the avocado kind of gave it a greenish color so I'm gonna put this in my hair right now and then I'm gonna leave it on for an hour and then I'm gonna come back and with it all rinsed out and everything and I'm gonna tell you guys basically how I how my hair feels after rinsing everything out so I have a towel Gonna put this here because I don't want you know to dirty myself even though I feel like I'm gonna dirty myself either way I tried putting this in a spray bottle the last time I did it with the avocado and I didn't really think that obviously it was too thick that it wouldn't go through the nozzle uh, and that's mainly because of the avocado so now I don't have avocado in this so I don't know if maybe I should try the spray bottle again. It probably might work better than me just 
pouring it on my hair right here. So let me try that out and we'll see if that works. All right, so this is everything in the spray bottle. It practically filled up the entire bottle. It has the little nozzle here. So just gonna spray everything in here. So much easier than having to pour it. I'm doing this on I'm doing this on dry here so my hair is not wet I didn't wet it I just unbraided it and we're putting this in so you can actually see the product in my hair just massaging it in might actually take a little while, maybe a little longer than I, maybe a little longer than I thought, but I really didn't want to pour it, but it's looking like I might have to pour it. in there. This is only half of the bottle. Okay guys, so this is all the product in my hair, it's still dripping but we got the towel so it's catching all of that. So now, as you can see my hair is like completely saturated in it and I'm going to leave it on for one hour. So the time right now is 321 so gonna leave it on for an hour and we'll be back to rinse it off and yeah and then I'll tell you guys what I think of my hair after rinsing it out and everything Okay guys, so it is officially one hour later and this is my hair after it has been rinsed out. As you can see, I feel like, I probably gotta come in close for you guys to see this, but I feel like my curls are out a lot more. You can actually see, you know, how curly my hair has gotten as opposed to it being a lot more like elongated before. So. It shrunk a whole lot, which it normally does once it's wet. So now once I'm done rinsing, usually what I do, I go back in with some more coconut oil. Not too much because, you know, the treatment already had coconut oil, coconut oil in there. So I'm just putting a little bit just to kind of, you know, give it a little bit of shine but when I'm ready to style it and yeah, I think now I'm just gonna do one of my styles just to style it up and then but yeah so overall my hair feels it feels very soft, it feels very curly like I told you guys before. 
it did shrink but that's normal for my hair my hair shrinks a whole lot so it's weird because when you have a lot of shrinkage it kind of makes your hair look like it kind of makes you look like you don't have a lot of hair but when you pull it out it's like extremely long if you guys can see how long this is right here so my hair really does shrink a whole lot so it feels very soft and it came out a, a whole lot better than before because the first time I did it last week there was a lot of like leftover residue in my hair from the aloe vera so I feel like it's working my main problem has always been the front of my hair I always feel like the front of my hair has been very short as opposed to the back like let me just show you guys just gonna take a piece of the back of my hair so this is how long the back of my hair is I hope you guys can see that this is how long so the front has always to me has always been pretty short but I feel like it's growing like we're literally up to right here so I'm gonna monitor it now you know to see how much it grows in the next week when I do this you know treatment again but I'm liking how it's coming out so far I don't know I feel like it's working I guess we'll see on the next video but hey okay guys so this is how I do my hair treatment I know I look crazy no makeup no nothing my brows have to be done this is like completely like unacceptable but at this point it's like <laughs> whatever so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully you know uh, you guys decide to try this you know to see if it helps you <coughs> in some way or another let me know in the comment section what you think and if you do try this um, treatment let me know if you know what it does for your hair you know I still to this day still don't know what kind of hair I have I see uh, so many videos on YouTube of people saying 4B, 4C. I have no idea. So I would literally have to do my research on it. I, I have th That just goes to show you guys how much I don't really um, know about hair care that much. I mean, I know about my hair, but in, in all reality, to tell you like what works best for my type of hair and everything like that, I really can't tell you guys. So this is really a new journey for me. So I uh, thank you guys so much for going on this journey with me and watching me do all my crazy stuff, <laughs> you know, for my hair. So, you know, as always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hitting that notification bell will definitely send you an alert every time I post a video so you're never going to miss out on any of my content. If there's any other videos you guys want to see, let me know in the comments section below. I think the next thing I'm going to try is the rice water because I've been hearing so much stuff about this rice water stuff that I have to try it. But I just want to do at least one more week with this treatment and see how it goes for my hair. So again guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'm going to talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.